Second Queen Elizabeth is one of the most powerful women in the world. As the warden in the empire where the sun never sets, her command was once spread across the world. Born in 1926, she married Prince Philip, Duke of Edinburgh in 1947. She became Queen of Great Britain in 1952. It was during her rule that the many states that were under the British rule gained independence. She was the head of state of many states like Australia, New Zealand, Canada, India, Pakistan, South Africa, and she is still recognized as the Queen of 15 states including Australia, Canada, New Zealand, and the Bahamas. Second Queen Elizabeth is one of the most protected heads of state in Britain, as well as in the world, and twice she was attacked by different people. Because of this, the Queen's Chamber is considered one of the safest places in the world even today. As the mother of Prince Charles and the grandmother of Princes Harry and William, she looks after the royal family and still makes many decisions about the royal family. What kind of situation do you think will happen in England if Queen Elizabeth, the most valuable citizen in England, dies? You may not have thought about it before, but their loss will also lead to many huge changes in Great Britain. So we are trying to inform you today about 10 special events that will happen in England and the Commonwealth of Nations if second Queen Elizabeth, the Queen of England, dies. 10. Operation London Bridge What exactly is Operation London Bridge? That's the code name for Queen's death. London Bridge is one of the most important places in London. It is considered an identity of London. This big bridge is named after the Queen of England, which means that she is equally important because of her great character. The first few people who learn of a Queen's death do not immediately inform the media or the family. They are prepared in advance for what should happen after the death of a royal. Therefore, the Queen's death is discussed among these people using the code the London Bridge is down. It is said that the purpose of this is to prevent the spread of rumors and the creation of controversy in the country. This is expected to keep the death a secret until an official announcement is made to the people at the royal level. 9. All the royals gather around her body. After the Queen's death is announced to the royals, they all gather at the place or chamber where she died. It happens before the public is officially notified of her death. The royals will also pay their last respects to her before officially informing the public. If a member of the royal family is staying in a country outside England, he will be brought back very quickly. As a royal, they are obliged to leave everything and come back to England as soon as possible, no matter how important work they have done abroad. 8. Ban notes and stamps in Great Britain and Commonwealth countries will be changed. Stamps, ban notes and coins in 15 countries belonging to Great Britain and the Commonwealth of Nations will be cancelled and withdrawn from use within 10 days of the Queen's death. That's because England no longer has a Queen. Using the title Queen of England is considered disrespectful to the new King. In addition, there are 15 states belonging to the Commonwealth of Nations and 39 countries that are members of the Commonwealth of Nations. There are stamps and currency notes in those countries that mention the Queen as the leader of all these states. The UK government is making requests from the relevant countries to change them. 7. The Bell of Westminster Abbey announces her death. The Bell of Westminster Abbey which is considered the Royal Cathedral of England, is rung on a royal death. It is a tradition there. It is customary to ring bells in churches across Britain to announce her death. Also, flags of England and other flags on flagpoles across Britain are also being flown at half-mast. At this time, even the symbolic flags on the beaches are half-masted. 
6. England's National Anthem Will Be Changed England's National Anthem begins as God Save the Queen. After the death of the Queen, England no longer has a Queen, so that clause should also be removed from their National Anthem. It is also necessary to create a new National Anthem because a King is appointed as the leader and not after the Queen. It is stated that the new National Anthem will be changed to God Save the King. 5. Mourning period of 12 days. After the Queen's death, the government announces a 12-day period of mourning. During this time, the government tasks that amusement parks, theaters, and other places where people enjoy themselves be closed in Britain. But there is no law in England that they must be closed. The government is asking the people to do this as a sign of respect to the Queen. The funeral of the Queen is done on the day she is found dead. Until then, her body will be kept in several places to pay respects. During this period of mourning, the guards in front of Buckingham Palace in London are dressed in black with long hoods. It is considered as a notification to the people that a sad incident has happened in that royal palace. A notice of the king's death is displayed in front of the palace and the royal flags in the palace are flown at half-mast and decorated with black flags. The official royal website is temporarily suspended and only the queen's death is displayed on a black background. Also, the BBC, the main media channel in England, stops all entertainment programs during this period and the announcers are dressed only in black. He is also requested to do the same from other monthly channels. Members of the royal family, members of parliament and other government and royal family members wear black during this time. 4. Billions of pounds lost to Britain. It is said that the British stock market will be closed during this period and therefore, it is said that the possible loss during this period could be billions of pounds. Also, the government is considering the day of the Queen's last rites as a national day of mourning and declaring it as a public holiday. 3. All aircraft and pilots are ready for a week of sleep strike. Before the Queen's last rites take place, British people all over the world as well as citizens of Commonwealth countries are waiting to come to England to pay their last rites to their Queen. Therefore, Heathrow Airport is busier than ever in its history during this period. Therefore, it is also mentioned that British airlines including British Airways and EasyJet will have to fly more flights to England. 2. How will the Queen's funeral be? If Queen Elizabeth dies in the palace, the body is buried in the royal chamber and kept with the honors of the royal guards. If she had died at Sandringham Castle outside London, her remains would have been brought to London in a royal hearse. If she also dies at Balmoral Palace in Scotland, her body will be brought to Edinburgh Holyrood Palace. It is said that religious services will be done at Giles Church and will be taken to London in a specially prepared royal train. If by any chance she died abroad, she would be flown to Buckingham Palace in a royal plane. After paying royal respects, her body will be laid to rest in the palace in London for public viewing. In the meantime, more than 10,000 permits are being printed to be given to members of the royal family, diplomats and other special persons who are going to join the service at her cremation ceremony. Her last rites are performed on the day of mourning. It is chaired by the Archbishop of Canterbury. 1. Great Britain will have a new king and queen. After the death of second Queen Elizabeth, Prince Charles will become the King of England. He does not have to become king as King Third Charles. As king, he has the legal ability to choose a name of his choice. With the accession of Prince Charles to the throne, his wife Princess Camilla will be crowned as the Queen of Great Britain. 
Because of this, a new king and a new queen will be appointed to the Commonwealth including Great Britain. Also, Prince William and Princess Kate become the Prince and Princess of Wales from then on. After becoming king, King Charles and Queen will address the nation and visit the four states of Great Britain, namely Scotland, Wales, England, and Ireland. Also, the parliament was held under his leadership during this period.